What's up guys? And we're back looking at patch notes because we have 3.0. So this one is going to be a pretty big update and I'm pretty excited about what is in here. So we're going to be talking about it, breaking it down, letting you know what is important in these patch notes, but make sure, let me know in the comments, what do you like the most out of these patch notes? What were you kind of missing? All right, so we're going to start with the first thing, the big elephant in the room, and it's the teaser. So we got no new characters here. We just have Hades. And I don't think that's completely true. I do think we will be getting new characters. I just think that maybe either one, you're gonna kind of keep it tight lipped. If you think about the last two months worth of patch notes, the Raya, the Kermit, and even their Cruella, a lot of information got out there probably sooner than they would have wanted it to, right? They want us to have a guessing game, but not know the characters two or three weeks in advance. So I think they're gonna kind of wait on this reveal. We'll probably definitely find out some more soon but I do have some ideas, which we'll get to right below. All right, so the first thing we're looking at is an update to the campaign. So in the campaign, we're gonna be traveling to the underworld and we're gonna be going against Hades. Now, this is where I think maybe one of, if not just the character we're getting this month could be Jafar. So my thought is here that maybe it's Jafar because now we're going against Hades and Jafar is gonna team up with us after seeing the light in the last chapter and we'll be able to use him to go against Hades and continue this journey into the Mirrorverse. Now, just like with the last one, there's gonna be some extra stuff going on, extra rewards, celebrations for this new chapter. So make sure you're looking at it, doing what you can to get those extra rewards. And then the last one here, just remember, we do have that double energy refresh. So whether you're using that on campaign or one of your other modes, just make sure you're using it. So next up is more rewards, more stuff into the game. And I'm pretty excited about this one. Now, I don't do a lot of the events crazy. Of course, if there's some kind of store with currency, I'm going to do my dailies in order to get as much currency as I can. You know, you got to get those T4 diamonds, even T3 diamonds and things like that. But they're also going to be adding a leaderboard. Now, there's going to be some people that look at this and go, oh, another leaderboard. I can't compete with all these people or those people. And just look at it as extra rewards. It's going to be set up just like the dungeons were, where you're going to be able to get extra stuff on there. And we're going to be in leagues with certain amount of people within those. But if you can't compete with them, just do what you can and get some free stuff. I do like this, though, because it does add a little bit more to the event and makes you at least want to use that energy and feel like you're doing something with it. So all in all, we'll see how they come into the game, because it does say here we kind of have two different leaderboards one with your group and one with a global, or maybe that means there's one for both events, kind of like what we have with two characters, and then another one with just the single event. Not really sure. It's kind of a little vague here, but we'll have to see when it comes to the game. All right, guys, and this is the most exciting part about these patch notes. We have a brand new mode coming called the Fracture Feud event. Now, we don't have all the details this, and again, the KCP hasn't been able to test this or anything like that, so the only information we have is what we're reading here in the patch notes. And it looks like some type of survival mode. You're going to take in your characters and be able to go against hordes of different fractured enemies and just continue to go to see how far you can go within a certain time limit. Now, this is the mode we have asked for in multiple games. You know, the other Disney game we used to play and we never got it. And so I'm pretty excited about this one because I think internally we're going to be able to kind of, you know, brag about how far we can get in this how many hordes we can take down in this timer, even though I'm not really seeing anything here about some type of leaderboard. So what's really exciting about this, or at least what I think is gonna be cool, is we're gonna really be able to check this out and see what kind of characters we can use in here, what kind of team builds are gonna be best for survivability, and really show off what we can do with those teams. The other interesting thing about this is it's only gonna run once a month, pretty much for that one week or so that it's available. So it's not something we're gonna do all the time, but I do find this very interesting because as it rolls around, we're gonna have new characters in the game. We're gonna be able to try those new teams and see how far we can get with them. Now, the last piece of this is we'll see what it looks like as far as energy, what kind of energy, what amount of energy, what are the rewards based on those energy spins. But I'm pretty excited to see how far I can get with some of the good teams that I use but especially some of the teams that you guys find. Now, I love to play the game and I love to find really cool teams, but I've seen so many things over on the Discord that you guys have come up with that I haven't even thought about. So again, try here, experiment with them. Let's find the best teams for this mode and see what we can do. And just a plug here, if you wanna check out that Discord, the link will be below. 
And uh, yeah, tell us what you're using in these events as they roll around and or what teams are you using right now that you really enjoy. All right, so we had one new event that's coming through and then we have these new little challenges that they're also adding to the game. So I'm pretty excited about this because it's just gonna add more things for us to do in the game, more things for testing our skills. So we're gonna have to see what it actually looks like, but it just seems like we're gonna be able to have a couple more nodes where you need very specific characters and builds to be able to accomplish them. I like it though. Next up in the patch notes is the dangerous dungeon updates. So the big one here, uh, the big one here is that first one. We're getting rid of heavyweights. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, yay, that's awesome. I know guests, you, you petitioned for this man, but I'm not sure that I like the answer. So instead of us not being able to dash for so many seconds, instead, when you do dash, you're not gonna be able to hit for a few seconds. So for five seconds, we're gonna apply a dizzy. And again, this is, you know, a 33% dizzy debuff. So one in three of our attacks is gonna miss. And we're just gonna have to see how that feels. Cause if you're a dasher, well, that's gonna be stacking up on there up to five stacks. Meaning if you dash a whole bunch, your character's not gonna be able to hit with their basics or their heavies. So who knows, maybe this is gonna be okay because you still have your specials and things like that. But just keep in mind, it's gonna be tough. It is a change, which is pretty nice. It means Kabam is listening when we complain about certain things. And yeah. We'll just see. All right, so the last little thing that I wanna point out in here really comes down to the artifacts. So there's a line in there talking about the fact that they're gonna spread open those artifacts, put them all over the map. And I don't know if I like that. So originally it was kind of annoying. Sometimes you get into a dungeon, all the artifacts are stacked in one location. So you've, you know, looked all over the dungeon and found them, you know, three fourths of the way through that particular floor. But I will also say that by spreading it out, it definitely means we're always going to be using a lot of energy. Whether you're using your maps to see where they are on the map, well, now you're going to see you're still going to have to walk just as far. So that's something where I think it's fine, but at the same time, I'm, I'm going to be a little upset when I'm having to go from left to right and up and down all in the dungeon just to collect all those artifacts rather than using a map, finding that they're all in one corner, grabbing all those and moving to the next floor. So we'll see. We'll see what everybody thinks in this. Maybe it feels better if you're not using maps. That way you're at least finding some instead of waiting to the last little minute. But who knows? Who knows? So we'll see. The rest of these are just little updates and things like that. Nothing really stands out to me too much here. Uh, but again, definitely check them out, read through them and see what you think about the dungeon updates. All right. So the next set of updates, tons of quality of life updates here. We've got riff raids. So the biggest one here with Rift Raids is the Titanborns aren't going to be able to interrupt their attack and then turn around and use their attack on you. If you guys haven't experienced this, yes, it happens when you were going in and they were doing one of their attacks. If you use a special against them, they practically turn around and then use their attack on you. So it's very hard to dodge this, but it seems like it's fixed. So I think this is going to be really helpful, especially in those top tier raids when you're using your melees like Anger or Aerial and having to really work around this particular piece. So they fixed it. I'm glad about that and really didn't take them that long to get on top of that. So the other thing they added here is adding the members to the inspect tab. So instead of, I think, clicking into it, you should be able to see it from just clicking on the node at the top level. But we'll have to see if that's exactly what it means. And if it is, that's going to be, you know, pretty nice. We get to see who's actually in the encounter and where they are. But at the same time, I don't know. I, I feel like this is a good thing we asked for. But the, you know, the overall use of it, it may be a little minimal. So moving down in the notes, we have some guardian updates, nothing too much right here. Most of this is just fixes with wording on different areas. So it's not, not that needed. All right. And speaking of the quality of life updates, like we've been talking about in all these different modes, well, we've got a few more. We got this new potion that they're calling enchanted energy recharges. And this is going to come from, I believe maybe raids or main energy. I'm not really sure exactly yet, but if they use this, not only are you gonna get refreshes, you're also gonna give everybody in your club refreshes. So this is gonna be one of those things where you get to help out the club. This makes it another reason why you need to be in one of those, you know, clubs or really what they're calling alliances in the game. That way you guys can help each other if you're gonna spend those orbs to get things like this. Now we'll see what the limit is on this or how often you can do it or anything like that. But this could be pretty huge, especially for the big spender alliances out there, 
where everybody can really help everybody out. Another thing to note is if you are free to play, this could be something where it makes a lot of sense to get for everybody in the club because, well, you're able to kind of double up on these potions depending on you know what they are. So we got a few other things in here. If we just kind of look down the list, the portal intros, you can skip those. I love that because when I'm trying to climb a tower real quick or I'm trying to do you know, the dailies now that we're actually going to fight in the events to get the 200 wins. You can skip over those intros and do that really quickly. You can also refresh the Stardust store with your orbs. I know that's not something everybody will use, but there are certain people out there that are really looking for those guardians. And here's a way of doing it. I'm personally not going to do it because I think, you know, my orbs can be used in a better spot, but I may use it on time to time if I was really, really specifically going after one particular character. All right, guys, so that is patch notes for 3.0. We got a lot of stuff in here, not just quality of life stuff. Yes, we didn't get new character announcements, but I think they're coming. I think we're going to get characters, and my guess, my bet, is Jafar is at least one of them, if not maybe just the one we're getting, but we'll have to see when those launch. On top of that, though, we did get a new mode. We got updates to Rift Raids. We got updates to Dungeons all kinds of little quality of life adjustments in there. So I'm pretty excited about these patch notes. Like I said before, at the beginning of the video, make sure leave a comment below. Let me know what you're most excited about in these patch notes and let me know what the next video you want to see. Speaking of videos, we do have the tier list. I know it is well into November for the November tier list, but with Raya, with Kermit, with all these adjustments they've been doing to Rift Raids, it keeps making my score model change and adjust. So. Yes, we'll be doing that live tonight. So if you're watching this right now, tonight on Twitch, link is in the description, we will be doing the tier list live. And then tomorrow, I'll be uploading a chopped down version of that so you guys can check it out. Now I am super excited. Like I said, all these characters, all these changes coming to the games. And who knows, with that new survivor mode, some of these characters may move around in the tier list later in December. So we'll see what that looks like. And again, if you're new to this game, I've got the 101 series. I'll put a link right up here so you can watch that playlist. And uh, yeah, get caught up, see what's in there. There's a lot of good stuff. And I'm planning on making some new videos pretty soon to replace some of those older 101 videos. Until next time, guys, y'all take it easy.